so as you guys know that when we return this list which contain the user's profile information you know that it is bind with this which simply means that this user profile list will be populated and that list information or you can say well you we can access by this all user profile list so using this we can access it so how now let's just go back to our swiping screen and let's access that using our this all user profile list which is inside our profile controller so for that purpose let's implement and start displaying the profile we can say page view dot builder item count that is how much uh, profile we have inside our this list okay which is accessible by this so as I told you it is inside the profile controller so we need to create an instance or you can say access our profile controller here so profile controller let's give it name as profile controller get dot put make sure to import get dot dot just like this and then we can say profile controller so with the help of this we can access each method which we implemented here or each uh, instance or each variable using this profile controller we can access which is define or initialize or implement it inside this profile controller class so anyways for example now for the item count we can say profile controller dot all user profile list which is this okay so we want the length of it so we can say dot length because our page view will display only uh, for example if you have three current users according to the current situations then the out item count will be three so the page view will display three views or you can say three screens three profiles using which I mean in which we can swipe as well swipe left or swipe to the right side so anyways let us just quickly implement that page controller the initial page we want to be zero that is starting from zero and the viewport fraction will be one that is we want to display one profile per screen or you can say one profile per page and then of course the user can scroll so we have to uh, specify the direction so we can say axis dot horizontal we want horizontal scroll direction make sure to remove this cost from the scaffold okay and then we can say item builder index each item we have to get from the list using its index number and display it so first of all we can say each profile info profile controller dot all users profile list so for example when it start executing as we have three profiles let's say according to the current scenario we have let's say three profiles which is coming from the database which is inside our this list which is accessible by this okay so first it will get the first okay the index number will be zero which means the first profile it will get and it will be assigned to this then for the second time the second profile it will get the index number will become one which means the second profile it will get and the second profile information will be assigned to this each profile info then for the third times that is the third profile index will be two so it means the third profile information we assign to this each profile info which we can I mean now we can start displaying the information so first we will say return decorated decorate decorate box decoration 
box decoration first we are going to display the image so image decoration image image network image and which is using each profile info we can access so we can say each profile info dot image profile dot to string and there is a property which we can apply on over this network image and that property is basically fit so we can say box fit dot cover so let's just test the application to see so I'm going to log in quickly so we are logged in successfully and we are not getting the data even there is no error so let's check out what's the problem okay the problem is that as you know that we are controlling all the things using the get stat management okay and we have a profile controller that is controlling by the get stat management so we forgot to uh, add obx here okay so what we can do here is you can just cut this okay just cut this control x and then first you have to say body obx then add parenthesis again and then add curly braces and then you can paste back what we cut earlier which is our page view dot builder and make sure to add a return here as well okay just like this make sure to add a uh, semicolon at the end after when you paste page view dot builder so this is the code okay which we write till now now if you hot restart or if you run the app again let's also check the run alongside with it then we start getting the information so as I told you according to the explanation for example according to the current scenario other than the current user John we have three profiles so we get three profiles so the item count three that is we will get three profiles and one by one each profile information using its index number we get so for example we get f first person profile information which is assigned to this and for now we just display its uh, profile image so that's why we get the first and then as I told you then it get the second the second person profile information which is assigned to this and that person that second person profile image we display and similarly you can scroll and then we get the third person profile information using its index number which we assign to this and we display that profile image for the third person as we have only three persons so now if you scroll right then there is no profile however you can scroll back that is scroll to the left side so you can scroll left or scroll right now the next thing is to display the uh, other user interface for liking each profile or send message or mark any profile as their favorite so for that purpose we will go back and let's just quickly implement that as well as well as the user information the name the city and age and of course the country